Hi friends, welcome to Classic Education YouTube channel. So if you're watching this channel, you must be preparing for some of the competitive examinations, right? So otherwise you would not have been here. So if you are in this platform, I'm very happy to inform you that this month, in July month, the Classic Education has come up with one magazine called the Competition Vision. This magazine is loaded with lot of information. It is, you know, it's a bundle of information. All the inf information that is relevant for your competitive examination, whether you are preparing for the PC exam or if are, whether you are preparing for the IAS exam, for all the examination, this magazine is very, very suited. The information, the, whichever is given inside this magazine is wonderful. Okay, let us go into this magazine. Let us analyze what the articles are, have been covered in this magazine. So first one is about the India to elect the new president. As all of you know that India is on the verge of electing its new president. There are two candidates for the ex uh, this election. That, that is Draupadi Murmu and uh, Eshwan Sinha. These are the two contestants. Let us see what happens in the next upcoming examination. But this article talks about the constitutional provisions of this uh, election process what are the powers of the president what are the emergency powers so many powers have been discussed and what is the electoral college what is the vote of the one vote of the mla or one vote of the mp in the uh, presidential election and what is the electoral process what is the uh, electoral school or the electoral college uh, that elects this presidential candidates this is very well loaded information if you read this one article it is very well sufficient you can answer any of the questions related to the president and the election process of the president see next article is about the Lokayukta of the Karnataka. See, this Lokayukta office was vacant for many days. So, fortunately, the government has appointed new Lokayukta, that is B.S. Patil. He has been sworn in as the Lokayukta of the Karnataka. So, this article talks in detail about the powers of the Lokayukta and what are the responsibilities of the Lokayukta. So, being the one of the constitutional institution in the democratic setup. So, this article is very, very le relevant for your examination. Next is about the Sri Sant Tukaram Maharaj. Uh, and the uh, temple associated with him. So recently the Prime Minister of India went to the Maharashtra, there he inaugurated one temple called the Sant Tukaram uh, Maharaj Mandir or the Shila Mandir. So this Shila Mandir for the cultural you know, life of India, the Maharaj has played very important role. So for Varkari Pant in the Maharashtra, he has uh, initiated or he has introduced one new sect called as the Varkari sect. So this article talks about the Varkari sect. Next is Assam Baiko Festival. Again, in the cultural life, this is the culture tribal festival. So this festival is related to the northeastern part of India. These Assamese celebrate this first festival, especially the Rabha tribes. There is a tribal group called as the Rabha tribe. These tribal people, they you know celebrate this festival. So this festival, this article is talks about the this celebration. Why this celebration is important? How these tribal people are you know associated very well with the their surrounding nature and the environmental system. So this is very wonderful you know article. Next international news related to the India and Nepal. So the India and Nepal they have you know, signed one agreement in which there is a initiation of the Bharat Gaurav tourist train. This train will go to the Nepal and there is a transaction of the goods as well as the services as well as the people into uh, between the Nepal and India. The people, they have, you know, very much eased, this government has eased the transaction or the transfer of the people bet between the borders, okay. This train, Bharat Gaurav train is about the relations between India and Nepal. So being the international news, being the very, you know, very co cordial friend of the India, Nepal has the very significant role to play in the external sector of India. This article will help you a lot in your uh, studies. Next article is related to the space related development that is the China 
launches the Yagon 35 remote sensing satellites. What are these remote sensing satellites? In which orbit these satellites have been placed? What is the role of China? What is the role of China as well as the other superpowers like the uh, USA and Russia to maintain the peace in the spaces also? See, as of you uh, very well know that the space has become the new arena for the fighting instead of the water or the land. Now the space has become the battlefield. So when the countries are you know sending their satellites you know uh, very often what will uh, what will be the impact on the security of the world so the, the china has sent some of the remote satellites into the orbit this the article talks about the developments in the space okay again this is also a very wonderful you know uh, article next uh, next is about the swatch survection you know initiative or the survey launched by the central government Yes, all of you know that the world recently it has celebrated the 8th International Yoga Festival. This festival in India was led by the Prime Minister. So this Prime Minister was leading this festival or the yoga, international yoga event in the Mysore. It is the cultural city of Karnataka. It is the cultural capital of Karnataka. See, this year's yoga festivals, you know, unique character was that these events, these events were organized in the cultural places, the heritage places. The Mysore Palace is the one of the heritage places in Karnataka. Modi was was le leading this uh, celebration by you not know, doing the yoga exercises in the My Mysore palace grounds okay the yoga festival was observed in the Mysuru by the Modi government but again there is one more article which details or which gives the details about the yoga when this yoga school of thought originated what were their what were what were their tenets okay who were the leaders or the maharshis related to this yoga and all so this is again very detailed information related to the yoga philosophy of the indian mainland then again pakistan remains in the fatf gray list so this pakistan since there are allegations against it that it is funding the terror organizations this financial action task force it is a paris based organization it you know takes initiative against the countries which will you know, fund the terrorist activities again since 2018 this pakistan has been in the same gray list it is trying to come out of this gray list but it is not you know this fatf is not allowing it to come out of that because money laundering and the illegal transaction of money has become the major threat for the global economy as well as the security of the country. See, this article gives very detailed information related to what is the money laundering, what is the effect of being in the grey list of the FATF. These are the you know very well, uh, very detailed information related to the FATF and the associated issue called the Pakistan's you know uh, funding to the terror organizations. Now, again, space related development, there is a one very new development in the world, that is the South Korea it sends its first, first satellite to the orbit. Not only the satellite, the South Korea uh, also sent the one rocket to the space. This is very, very well uh, development in the world because these Southeast Asian nations, especially the Philippines, South Korea and other uh, no, uh, countries in this region, they were not developed in the space related activities. But it is very fortunate thing that these countries are also developing in the space related activities also. This South Korea becomes the first country in the region to send the satellites as well as the these uh, rockets into the space okay this is very detailed information related to the space developments now there is one more so far the world was battling with the coronavirus there is a one more virus called as the Poussin virus this virus has created some of the issues so what is this virus what are the you know symptoms related to the disease caused by this virus what are the treatment required to overcome this disease all of this is de you know, discussed in this article then so as i said you are watching this video because you are preparing for the some of the examination right these examinations require a lot of you know uh, effort they require a lot of practice for practice you need some of the questions right See, this magazine gives the questions also whether you are preparing for the psi examination or ias examination all the related questions have been given in the form of question papers okay you can you know uh, analyze your status of preparation by you know, solving all of these you know, questions. This is the PSI related question paper. 
and one is this is the very uh, mains related you know uh, question paper in the for the upsc examination especially for the ias examination they have given the descriptive uh, they have asked the descriptive question from your side they have given very relevant qu questions if you know solve these questions definitely it will help you to answer very well in your examination especially in the ias mains examination Okay, they have also given the civil services preliminary examination question paper, the recently concluded exam of the prelims uh, in 2022. This question paper also has been included in this issue. Okay, please solve this question paper so that again you can analyze your status of uh, preparation and you can analyze where you are and what is the strategy needed to improve yourself. Okay, in that way these question papers will help a lot. Then at the end, there is one more detailed ar article called as the Parliamentary Committees in India. No doubt, Parliament is the highest lawmaking body in the country. The uh, Parliament itself does not do all the things. There are only 545 members. The, as for the actual strength is 543. These members alone cannot do all the legal or the uh, policy related issues but they will take the help of some of the committees they are called as the parliamentary committees there are ad hoc committees there are some permanent committees all of these kind of committees have been given or they have been discussed in detail in this article parliamentary committees so please read all these you know uh, articles please enhance your preparation this in that way this magazine will help you a lot no doubt so this is very uh, information you know loaded magazine please read july month competition vision magazine thank you very much for watching this video